Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to take time today to have a quick conversation about investing in stocks, how to invest in stocks, and how to make money in the stock market. Please stay tuned. We're going to talk about all of that coming up next. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Zachary Shelton Jr. and I am the Chief Investment Officer of Warwick Shore Advisors. We are an investment management and wealth management firm located in Orlando, Florida with clients all across the United States. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos or coming to our channel, I ask that you please hit the like button on this video. Also, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so that you get an update each time I post a new video about all things financial. It is my goal to increase the financial literacy of our globe. You can help me do that. Thank you so much. Also, I wanna offer up something that I have for free to everyone. And it's my um, free financial planning cheat sheet. Now this planning cheat sheet will provide you with an asset allocation that you can use uh, in your portfolio during times of high market volatility to help keep your assets safe. Send me a, a message at, to investments at warwickshore.com. I'm sorry about that. You hear my kids in the background are doing homeschooling and eating lunch right now. So I'm sorry about the distractions. But send me a message to investments at warwickshore.com and I'll send you over the free financial planning cheat sheet. There's no obligation to it. There's nothing you have to buy for. It just helps you get a snapshot of where you are right now. And it helps you kind of put together a plan for where you want to go and the things that you want to do financially. As well, it gives you some investment tips in there also. So today we're going to have a conversation about investing in stocks. So first off, let's define what is a stock, what is a share, and what does all of that mean? So a stock is essentially ownership of a company. So when you buy into a, a stock, or let's say if you buy Apple or Facebook or anything like that, when you own a share of the company, you literally own a share of the company. And it's a fractional portion of the total amount of shares that are outstanding or the total amount of shares that are, are available to be traded for that company. So you'll have typically your share price, and that's the price that you purchase it for. And um, the way you make money with in investing in stocks, and this is what a lot of people always ask me, how can I make money with stocks? I'm new to stocks, I'm new to investing. I wanna learn, I don't know where to go to buy stocks or anything like that. You can always come to me, you can come to my firm, I can help you with that. But if you're doing it on your own, it's nothing wrong with that either. And um, I'm gonna answer some of those questions for you. So first off, uh, we define what a stock is. So a stock is just literally just ownership of a company. Um, you invest in stocks, when you purchase a stock from a, a company, and more than likely when you purchase it um, through a broker such as TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, or Robinhood, or any one of those places, you're purchasing the stock on the secondary market. So you're purchasing it from another seller. So if I was selling my shares of Facebook and you were buying my shares of Facebook, that would be a secondary market transaction with me selling you my shares and you buying the shares from me. Whenever a company wants to raise money, um, there is an initial public offering. So let's say there's a publicly traded company like uh, Facebook. When they initially went public uh, many years ago, not too long ago, but some years ago, when they initially went public, they went to the market and said, we have this many shares of our company and we want to offer them up for sale so that we can increase the ownership, our share in the wealth and the ownership of Facebook with all of you share owners, shareholders. Now, what you get in return for that is ownership in a company. So every time that um, there is possibly a dividend paid or there's a, um, the stock price increases and there's a capital gains received, um, you'll benefit from that. And you'll benefit from owning um, that share in the company. What the company receives, what Facebook receives, is the money um, that you invested into the company. So it's a way for them to raise capital and increase the capital and assets that they have on their balance sheet so that they can go out and make their company better, make the company stronger um, and increase 
their investment internally within the company. So that's essentially how the stock market works and the function of the stock market is there to provide liquidity and capital for companies and at the same time it provides a benefit to the shareholders. So the question arises, how do shareholders get paid? Um, as I own stocks, how do I make money from it? And in, how long will it take me to make money from it? So that's a very good question, a very simple question to answer. Um, when you buy a stock, you'll buy it at a particular price, like I mentioned before. So let's say you bought a stock for $20. And over the course of time, it may be over the course of a year or longer or shorter, let's say that price rises to $30 a share. Now you've made $10 a share on that stock that you purchase. So now you're essentially $10 richer. Now you multiply this by 10 shares, by 100 shares, by 1,000 shares, by a million shares, as you begin to trade bigger and bigger and bigger bucks, that really magnifies how much money you can make in there. So that's the first way you make money is by capital gains. The second way you make money in uh, stocks is by the income that the stock will pay you. Now, not every stock pays a dividend, but majority of the stocks, a good portion of stocks out there do pay a dividend. And the way the dividend works is that every um, quarter, for the most part in the United States, the company will report its quarterly earnings. And in those quarterly earnings, if they've had positive net income, they'll share some of that net income with you, the shareholder. There'll be a specified rate in which they'll share that with you, but there will be a amount that you would receive for each share that you hold in the company. So that's the second way that you'll earn um, a profit from owning a stock. So if many of you are brand new to investing in the market, owning stocks and all of those different things, I would advise that you take a very, very cautious approach. There are some platforms out there that will allow you to trade paper money where you can just practice trading. And I know a lot of people speak against um, practice trading because they feel it takes the emotion out of it because it's not your real money. But what it does do is it allows you to trade and see how the market behaves during different economic times and during different periods in our economy. So I always suggest, suggest try trading paper money. Um, start off first with trading paper money and then as you get more and more comfortable with that, go ahead to one of the brokerage houses or one of the, the places you see on TV like TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, uh, Robinhood, all those different places are available to you to trade stocks. Now as of right now, you can trade stocks and ETFs with no commission at um, those, all of those places that I just mentioned um, above. I personally use TD Ameritrade for myself and all of my clients, um, but all of them are pretty much the same and you can do a lot with all of them. So it's just with whatever preference that you like and whatever suits you best. So if you have any questions or comments about anything that I mentioned before about investing in stocks or about how to truly get started and how much money you may need to get started in stocks, please leave me a comment below. I'll be sure to answer those questions for you and I'll be sure to post more videos giving you updates on the stock market, how to invest in the stock market and how to make money with the stock market. Thank you so much. Before you leave, please hit that subscribe button. Please like this video and please share it. It is my goal, like I said before, to increase the financial literacy of our globe. Thank you so much. Have a great day.